Today I'm going to share some useful tips for creating visually interesting panoramic posts on Instagram that seamlessly pan back and forth to show a larger image within the regular viewport area. These kinds of posts are perfect for wide images that you just can't seem to crop into a square ratio, or to add a little creativity to your social media profile. There are all kinds of apps available that can achieve this kind of effect directly on your mobile device, but as professional designers and photographers, it's nice to create our images manually to have full control over the outcome. I'll show you how to use Photoshop to crop your images into the correct ratio, showing three different size options so you can keep them in mind for when you're processing your own images. I have to admit I've never been a big Instagram user. It didn't even exist back when I started my Spoon Graphics website. I do have a neglected personal account that I occasionally use to share photos of my Mustang, so that'll be the subject of my three examples today. This technique works with all kinds of images though, especially landscape shots, which naturally fit into a panoramic image ratio. While you can upload images of any ratio to Instagram, it's best practice to either use square or portrait dimensions to take up the most screen area possible for maximum attention grabbing potential. 1080x1080 and 1350x1080 pixel image sizes are the go-to dimensions for standard individual posts. There is also an option to select multiple images, which are presented side by side for the end user to pan through as a mini slideshow. It's this feature that allows us to get creative with an extra long seamless image that spans multiple frames. It's one of my favourite Mustang shots from a couple of years ago. To share this on Instagram I could just export it at this standard landscape photo ratio, but the short height would mean it would only be quite small in the end user's feed. Due to the framing of the shot it doesn't crop into a square very well without losing large portions of the subject. The wide but short composition makes it ideal for transforming into a panoramic shot. Two square images placed side by side would be a 2 to 1 ratio. Grab the crop tool and enter 2 and 1 in the ratio values to easily crop your image to this format. 1080 times 2 makes the overall width 2160. The 2 to 1 ratio automatically makes the height 1080 pixels. In order to export this long panorama into two halves, we need to split it into 1080 by 1080 squares. Holding shift while dragging with the crop tool makes a square, but don't forget to first clear the ratio values. Export the first square as a JPEG with the appropriate compression settings by going to File, Export and Save for Web. Go to Edit and Step Backward, or hit Command and Z to undo to bring back the full image. Then crop the image into a square from the other side. You know from the 2 to 1 ratio that the two halves will match up perfectly. Export the second half, then undo again so you don't lose the full version. Rather than crop and export each half manually, you could also use the Slice tool. Draw around the image to create one big initial slice, then drag a second slice and snap it to the centre. When you use the Save for Web Export tool, you can now select both slices and save the JPEG images at the same time. Airdrop or transfer the JPEGs over to your phone, then open up Instagram and create a new post. Select the first shot, then click the multiple images icon to create the slideshow. Click the other half to make it picture number 2. You get a little preview of how it will look in the next step. Don't worry about the spacing that is added here, they're placed side by side when it's actually uploaded. The published post will display the first half of your image in a standard square format, but when you pan to the next slide, the image seamlessly continues to reveal the other half. This panorama image not only adds a touch of creativity to your social media posts, it also allows you to present your photos with much more up-close detail than a standard square or portrait crop. Here's another one of my favourite Mustang photos with a lovely vibrant sunset vibe. The 2 to 1 crop ratio would lose a lot of that nice yellow glow in the background, but remember it's also possible to upload portrait images to Instagram. Two 1080x1350 portrait images in a slideshow makes a taller overall panorama image that takes up even more screen space. To work out the crop size we need to add 1080 and 1080 which is 2160 just like before, but then we need to find the ratio between 2160 and 1350 which is... 8 to 5. Cropping the image to this ratio only loses a small strip at the bottom. The image could then be resized to the overall dimensions of 2160 by 1350. Split the image into two halves with the slice tool and export each one as a JPEG. 
Over in Instagram the process is exactly the same, but don't forget to first click the little icon to expand the portrait image to its full size, rather than it be automatically cropped into a square. The portrait panorama image takes up the most screen area possible, with the extra height over a square crop. You don't have to stop at two images in your slideshow, you can split up your photos into as many slides as you want, well up to 10 anyway. Here's yet another Mustang photo. Since there's three Mustangs, splitting up the shot into three slides would look pretty cool. A simple 3 to 1 ratio is easy to work out based on three square crops, but it loses a lot of the surrounding image. With a little more mathematics, or the help of a Google search for ratio calculator, you can work out that three 1080x1350 slides is a 12 to 5 ratio. Set these values in Photoshop's crop tool to find the perfect composition. The crop tool's default thirds grid also makes it easy to visualise where the splits will be. Resize the image to 3240 pixels, which is 1080 times 3 if you haven't guessed. Photoshop automatically snaps the slice tool to the centre, but how do we split the main slice into thirds? Well if you activate the slice select tool, in the top toolbar there's a divide button. Choose the Divide Vertically option and enter 3 to automatically generate the 3 slices you need. Select all 3 in the Save for Web Export window and send them over to your phone for uploading on Instagram. This step is exactly the same as before. First make sure the image is enlarged to full portrait sizes. Then add the other slides to the multi-image slideshow in the relevant order. Add all your favourite hashtags, then you'll have an expertly crafted Instagram post to impress all your friends. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel, and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.